Charlie Cushane here to do another mod, but this time it's to my Weber Genesis gas grill. I bought this in 2012, so eight years ago, and it has a sparker, which everybody's familiar with. You push the button and it sparks. Well, guess what? Mine doesn't spark, and despite changing the battery multiple times, it still won't work. I've come to the conclusion that this is a good grill. I want to repair it. Um, it's all stainless steel and it's worked great. It still looks brand new. So I went and bought a new kit, a Weber igniter kit from Amazon. The link is below in the description. And this is for specifically for my Weber Genesis 310 grill. You can get them for any kind of grill, and they're all basically the same, just the wiring is slightly different. So in the kit, which wasn't cheap, it was like 30 bucks or something like that, you get the actual sparker with all kinds of connections on the back. You get a new rubber button to push, and in my, for my grill, three different sparkers with all different lengths of wires to different colors so you know which one goes where. The trick to this is you take this section apart and replace this and replace all the sparkers in the grill. So let's get started. Okay, according to these instructions that come with it, and they're actually quite good, it's all pictorial as you see I mean the, the instructions come in about 20 different languages but this is all pictures I, I guess we start at the beginning and take all the grill parts out uh, it says take the cover off but I think I'm not gonna do that so let's get started following these directions okay the next thing to do take the doors off just a simple push of a lever. Those come off nice and easy. Okay, the next thing to do is take this cover off. This looks like a couple of screws. There we go. And then they say to unscrew this. There it is. There's the old one. And it has the four wires as you see. Then you unhook. <laughs> Next thing to do is remove these four handles. Knobs, I guess. That was easy. The next thing is this outer cover has to come off. And that's just another couple of screws. And that comes off. Perfect. Okay, the next thing to take off is you undo all these wires from these clips. There we go. Now we take this metal piece out which is really easy again it's a Phillips head screw one on each end and there we go okay the directions now say look at this piece that you just took off if it's missing any clips and I am missing a clip right here I don't know why I don't know where it went or <laughs> why it's not there but they give you extra or new clips to put in and they say stick it through and they actually give you a washer okay and that new clip I pushed in I was able to actually push a washer on and it does make it a lot more rigid and a lot more secure so adding the washer was a good thing okay the next thing we have to do is replace these burners and as you can see this kit matches exactly what this one was. This has a blue and 
green, this is blue and green. And the way you do it, I guess you just pull it out. All right, and that's the old one all done. Toss it. Then you put the new one in. Push it in until this little stop hits. Perfect, you heard it snap. Let's try this one. There we go. Throw that away. Here's this one. There we go. That's in there. And then this last one. There. Okay. Here's the new one. Perfect. Okay, now that the igniters are all in, we put this back on. So now we're in the reassembly process. There we go. Nice. Okay, now we run the wires. They say this one goes through this clip under. Clip, clip, clip. All right, and I think it goes right here. Clip. And this one just goes straight down. Clip. Maybe it goes there. And this one. These clips, I believe, are to keep it from getting too hot, the wires touching anything. Okay, next thing we do, put this back on. There we go. That's nice and rigid. Okay, the next thing they tell you is take your new sparker device <laughs> and find these wires you sent down already. And there's four of them. And you plug them on, black to black. Okay, they're all on there. That was pretty easy. And you take this. Ah, uh, there is a key. It's right here. You see this flat? So this only can go one way. And you put this nut on. <sighs> nice and tight. Now let's put the battery in. They give you, believe it or not, an Energizer Lithium battery, which is surprising. So that's a good, good quality. Weber, always good quality. We put this on. Well, let's see if it sparks. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to show you the sparking. As you see, that's the igniter right there. You see the sparking? All three. And the last one. Perfect. Okay, the rest should be kind of simple to finish. We put this cover back on to cover the wires. Put the knobs back on. Before we put everything back in the grill, let's light it and see how it does. Okay, I turned the gas on. So now let's light this burner. There we go. That one lit perfect. All three. Success. Now let's put the inners back in. Okay, the last thing to put on, the two grates. There we 
we go. Okay, let's try putting these doors in again. When I was trying to put them in the first time, they uh, they bound up. I had this bottom piece upside down, so I flipped it over. There we go. Now it closes perfect. So when you put it back together again, you have to make sure you do it right. There we go. Okay, for the final test. I hear sparks. One lit. Two lit. Three lit. Success. Now I can barbecue and it's very easy to start my grill. It's good for another eight, ten years. You can do it too.